I definitely love this gun like crazy. The main reason I got this baby is for everyday carry. This is gonna be my new EDC gun. Hopefully I won't ever have to use it, but I would much rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. There's also another little feature that I didn't know about these 1911s with this hand grip. What's going on guys, it's Melbean, and today we're gonna be looking at a Kimber 1911. Let's go ahead and open this up because this one is very, very unique. I love this gun. Just look at this. Oh, bro, this is one bad mama jamma. Look at that. 1911, five inch barrel made by Kimber. Such a beautiful gun. And this one is the Custom LW, which it really just means custom lightweight, which means that this lower receiver here is lighter than a normal 1911 because it's made out of aluminum. And this top receiver and barrel are actually still made out of steel. So it's still has that nice top heavy weight that a 1911 should have and it also has a lightweight lower receiver so that it's just easier to manage and hold and obviously she's in 45 acp she's got eight round magazines and then obviously nine with one in the chamber that's usually how i like to carry very beautiful gun uh i believe this color this two-tone here is the fse I, honestly i have not seen too many videos or people with this color and this gun so it's it's honestly very unique, very different. They're actually running out of stock of this this model here. The one place I was able to find it in this color was uh, having a sale for, on them. And I was actually able to get a pretty killer deal for this gun. Originally, this gun is actually an $830 gun. But I think uh, there's just so few of them left, but they just want to get them off the shelf that they were actually willing to bring this one down to $620. And that was actually on Murdoch's. Most times I buy my guns on Shields, but this is the first time I bought a gun from Murdoch's. And they have a pretty crazy selection of guns, but I definitely do my research because some of them look a little weird or not like they would actually function very well well but other than that super cool great experience there and um and honestly i haven't been able to find this you know two-tone color other than like websites where you just do everything online and then you have to wait for them to ship it to a store and then you go pick it up at that store actually i did see that a turkish company named Tassas makes 1911s that are around the 350 to 400 dollar range and then you can also get like Springfield for like around like 500 600 bucks honestly the main reason I got this baby is for everyday carry this is going to be my new EDC gun before that I was honestly I was carrying a revolver but now I'm carrying this baby everywhere I go I did also get a holster for it made by Safari Land uh, the, it's a pretty nice holster for open carry because here in Colorado it's legal to open carry. It is auto lock system so it'll stay in place and the nice thing about this is that the release is on this side so you know no one can actually see where the release button is which is awesome. I honestly don't really like release buttons on the outside because it kind of make you vulnerable but I do like this auto lock system and it's pretty simple to use super cool but I've already signed up for the class and everything but I am waiting to do my concealed carry and then I'll just be you know carrying this uh, concealed and honestly after taxes and after background check it was still only like 685 bucks so it's still a great great deal and there's just something about 1911s that feel and look so good man and in 45 ACP, you know you've got some stopping power. We can all go into the arguments about, oh, Glocks have more capacity and all of that. But honestly, most gunfights, unless it's some hoodlum kid shooting at some other hoodlum kid, most times 
you're only popping off three to five rounds. So like nine rounds is really not bad. Plus you can always get extra magazines and holsters for those magazines concealed as well, which I will be definitely be carrying multiple magazines for this gun. And don't get me wrong, I got respect for Glocks. They got their place in the world. I've I even contemplating on getting a Glock for the longest time ever, but that's only because these things are so expensive. But I was able to find a killer deal for this. There's something about you know, the 1911 and everybody who has a 1911 that just has a go fuck yourself attitude, honestly. We could care less what you have to say about the Glock. The 1911 is just better all around. And honestly, when it comes to stats, they're really not that different from each other. But something that I do did notice about this gun is that um, the only times you have anything that you would consider a jam, it's not really... Most times it's not really the gun's fault. Most times it's just that you gotta be a man about putting magazines inside a 1911. So lots of times, even with like, I'll see it with Glocks too, you can just kind of slide it in and like just click it into place. But with the 1911, especially with rounds in it, you can't really just slide it in like a little toy gun. Like you have to slam this to like have it work and cycle properly and have the ammunition not slip while you're putting it up in there. And I think that's the main thing that might cause some jamming is just if you put the magazine in too slowly and you don't give it that extra oomph, she's definitely not gonna feed very well. So that's honestly the only problem I've had with this. But other than that, she's perfect. She's beautiful. You know, I haven't even broken her in fully yet, technically. I probably only ran about three or 400 rounds. And I think the break-in period for a 1911 is typically like 500 so i haven't even bro broken in this gun fully and um you know she's working just fine she's working phenomenally loading the magazines definitely takes a little bit of getting used to it's a big round it's a big spring in there it's getting compressed quite a bit the crazy thing about these magazines is that they cost as much as two ar magazines which is just crazy but you know, I do love the steel. It just feels good. This might even be aluminum, actually. I love the magazines, especially these Kimber ones. Sadly, I did try the whole, I'm not gonna put the magazine in, but they say that 1911s have a built-in bottle opener. This one does not have the little notch for it at the bottom. I think it would normally be like right here. But this one sadly doesn't have that. It would be cool if it did, but yeah, it's whatever. Just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> Oh yeah, and super quick, there's also another little feature that I didn't know about these 1911s with this hand grip here. I always thought that like when you were decocking a 1911, you had to do the whole two-handed decock, which that actually puts it in half cock and then if you hold the trigger down, that's fully decock. But something that I did learn about the 1911s with these hand grips is you can actually decock this with just one hand. If you actually pull this back far enough, it'll hit this grip up here and actually activate or deactivate that um, safety. And then you can decock it with one hand. Super cool. Learned that from some other YouTube video. Thought, you know, maybe some other 1911 guys might find that cool. So, yeah, little bonus for you. As for any changes that I maybe want to do for this gun, I may, I, I'm actually, I know I do want to change these grips just for to some look a little nicer. I'll probably still keep it all black. I thought about doing black and white, but it, it honestly doesn't really look good, especially with this color combination. I don't think it would look very good, so I'm just going to keep it all black and eventually change these rubber grips. But the only other thing about this gun is that you can't really you can't actually put a red dot on this. I'm sure there's a way that you can get it done. I don't really mind. I'd rather work on getting good with my iron sights. I still haven't fully developed the ability to even do that efficiently. So it's like, it's like might as well. I might as well do it with a pretty kick-ass gun. Like I said, I've already shot it. I do have some footage of that that I'll be showing to you guys. And I was actually, I noticed I was... Uh, shooting low left quite a bit most times I don't like to go to indoor gun ranges because there's always somebody you know just right over your shoulder the whole time but this time it, you know it's a new gun I'm getting used to her and it's a pretty big kickback large caliber so I did actually end up asking one of the guys there for you know some help and some advice and almost immediately I saw like a difference he also was teaching me about you know resetting the trigger 
and that definitely helped out a lot so um, thanks to that guy I definitely got to connect with this gun a little bit better yeah I'll just go ahead and show you guys the footage of you know the range day that I did I might even show you guys a little extra footage of me shooting the AR and my 308 rifle I, d I definitely want to get some like bore sight lasers to be able to properly sight in some of my scopes And then um, I may even try and like add some grip here to the front because that might even be, you know, part of the problem. I've just got a lot of issues with how I grip this baby that I need to work on. And then, you know, she's going to be pretty lethal out there on the streets. Hopefully I won't ever have to use it, but... If it ever does come to that, I would much rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. I definitely love this gun like crazy. Go ahead and check out my other gun videos, shooting videos and all of that. And yeah, that'll do it for this one. I'll catch you guys next time. These niggas dismissing the hard work, they calling it the talent. And I find that disrespectful cause I put on the mileage. Up for the shit but I'm down for the challenge. Step off the scene just to find me a balance. Uh. These niggas don't want it to get it cause when it got hard them niggas I quit it. I put so much hustle dog. It's all about that muscle dog, yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle dog, yeah. Hey, watch out this shit bubble dog, yeah.